In order to create a successfully a CBM CFS3 project using the tool, uh, I had to um, switch uh, between uh, version 1.2 beta of, uh, uh, of the carbon budget model and the non-beta version because the non-beta version which is most recent has um, some kind of programming issues when it comes to importing uh, files using uh, CBM CFS3 standard import tools and the carbon accounting team at C CFS is aware of these uh, 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 issues and they all fix the issues in the later releases of the model. Uh, up to that point though uh, we'll have to switch between a beta and non-beta version. So what happens here we create the project in the beta version of the of the model and then import it into the non-beta and run the simulation. So let's open it up the beta version of it and uh, because I have Windows 7 and it's a professional actual enterprise version I can use the so-called Windows virtual PC which has a Windows XP built-in mode so you can remotely run a Windows XP under Windows 7 so the trick I use I install a beta version into the um, Windows XP mode and the non-beta version into the regular Windows 7 so I'm going to the XP, XP mode and open the uh, beta version to create the actual project that I'm going to uh, use for this particular example. So as you can see it's a uh, one to beta here, the version I'm, I'm using. And you just simply click on new and use CBM standard import tool, give it a name. So I'll, in this uh, case I'll use uh, F2C demo and click OK and just create the new uh, import configuration if you don't have one uh, already and I'll just use F to C and mapping rules again F to C and click on one of these browsing buttons and just browse to the location of your uh, um, uh, project file and in this case is uh, on a C here and I'll have to go to my uh, to my folder here and it's in demo and it is F to C version 1. Uh, word of advice you would like before you start uh, using the tool you like to, to make a, another copy of the tool of the actual access file and rename it according to your project labels in order to, to keep yourself organized so click open you see all the tables are being populated automatically except the yields so you'll have to select yields from the pull down menu and just click next wait for the actual uh, import to, to, to finish and click next again and here is the step where you uh, map any kind of classifier you use and define the boundary of the project so in this case it is uh, BC Mountain Cordillera uh, the disturbance types they are, they are coming mapped except one which is the mountain pine beetle very severe so you just map this one as well so very severe impact and click map uh, for the species types, as I s uh, said in the previous uh, previously, um, we use the species classifiers for uh, uh, for the species, and this classifier also has the non-forest uh, values as well. So I click, I select that option, and I have two uh, values that are not mapped, and one is Douglas fir. So I'm going and map with Douglas fir. Uh, and Douglas uh, Mountain, uh, and Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, which is the species I'm using for this project. And the non forest, I have to map it to a soil type. So the soil types are right at the end of this uh, list, huge list. And in my project, uh, the soil type I have is Louis Solid for the Western Canada, so I click map on that. Once I did this, all I have to do is just click next and finish and wait for the process. Uh, for the import process to finish here in a CBM CFS3 and it takes about like uh, 10 to 15 seconds or so it depends on the size of the project and how many disturbances you have and so on and so forth and how many years you run the simulation for 
so as you can see it's quite fast if you have a, uh, a good computer and uh, I'm done with this so I can close uh, I can close the the program and I'll have to browse to the uh, actual location of the project and by default the um, CBM CFS3 is being installed under the program files folder on a C drive and uh, under the operational scale CBM CFS3 and you browse all the way to the projects and this is the folder where your project has been created so I'm copying this folder into my working project into my working folder project and this would be on C again and I'm, g I'm browsing there right away uh, here into the demo and I'm just pasting the folder in here okay so now I can go and open the uh, non-beta version of the of the model which is here on my uh, Windows 7 computer and connect the created uh, project into uh, this version of the model and run the simulation so as soon as the the program opens up I'll just browse to unlocate my, my project here and as I said it, it's all the way into the demo folder on getting lost here for a bit As you can see, I have lots of folders going on here, lots of things. So it's in demo and I have to see demo. And I just click OK. And the, the CBM CFS3 wizard is looking for projects in that folder and he found the have to see demo. I just select it and click connect and wait for the project to be connected to my, to my list of available projects. And just select it from the list and click open to open the, uh, the project. So the project now it's open and before I do the simulation I need to check if it, the import has been actually successful. So one of the first thing I check is the disturbance events and management activities and I'm looking at just one here and try to see if it is correctly imported and as you can see it's been correctly imported. I can click on the summary and see uh, the list of all disturbances that are happening throughout my planning horizon uh, in my project and uh, that would be a good checkup the other one is to go to the actual inventory and see if the inventory has been properly uh, imported and again you have a graph by age classes and a summary of the uh, of the import and uh, the now you are ready to pretty much run the simulation so click on the simulation schedule actually one more thing before that because the name of the simulation is important you you might as well edit the name of the simulation so you go to uh, tools assumption composers and simulation and edit this name here so just click on edit and just put in f to c underscore demo this name is important because it appears in all the graphs you're going to produce so it's quite it comes quite handy when you have to um, refer to a name of a project so it, it's just helpful to keep yourself organized and now I'm just uh, uh, running the, uh, the simulation and it takes about five minutes or so because I'm running for a hundred years so uh, we'll just wait and see uh, see what happens <coughs> 